this is Shauna Noel, and I want to share with you a little bit of the heart behind being bright and brave. Now, to me, bright and brave is all about seeking God in the everyday strength that we need to get through our life. And in doing so, documenting that history, that testimony that he is placing in the footsteps of our path. Now, when we're doing this, I wanted really bright and beautiful things to do that, including typewriters and cassette tapes, because that's what I think of when I think of my history and how I'm going to document what God's doing. But I hope that you're just inspired to get out there, write that testimony and share it with others. Enjoy. Bye. Thanks so much, Shauna. I'm Amy Heller with Bella Boulevard, and I'm going to walk you through the Bright and Brave collection today. In this collection, there's a collection kit, designer clips, element stickers, tip-ins, washi stickers, a six by eight inch pad, clear cuts, tabbies, paper pieces, and a clear stamp set. Let's start by going through the Bright and Brave collection kit. When you get your collection kit, you're going to open up the back and the first thing you'll see is a 12 by 12 inch set of cardstock stickers, which we call our fundamental stickers. And we'll go through that in just a minute. On the cover of the collection kit sheet, you'll see it says one bonus pattern paper and that is going to be on the back of that sheet and that's exclusive to the collection kit. Next up are these darling three by four inch cards, perfect for pocket scrapping and card making. And on the back is this nice thin orange on white. Next up are our borders. How cute are these little mopeds and typewriters? And on the back, these versatile triangles, great thin white on black. Speaking of typewriters, check these out. How adorable are all of these typewriters with little tiny sentiments that say things like, wow, God, and believe. Next up, we have this really fun scissor pattern with beautiful gray and white tonal background. And here we have this yellow typewriter key inspired paper and multicolored starburst on the back on white. And then there's this whimsical floral featuring the color all of you green with tiny white crosses. Next up is this beautiful handwritten script filled with inspiring sentiments with black and white vertical stripe on the back. And then we have this super sweet tiny white heart on red followed by this whimsical multicolored geometric border. The next paper is probably one of my favorites and this is the cassette tapes. I love these. How great are these? And on the back, how fun is it that there's musical notes? And then we have these darling little multicolored bicycles with this beautiful signature teal called Oh My Heavens with tiny white crosses. Another one of my favorites are these numbers with tiny polka dots, big, bold, and with this great huge polka dot on the back. Last up is this multicolored stamped paper on white filled with inspiring sentiments and on the back signature hot pink color one in a melon with these bright white starbursts. Let's head into our fundamental stickers, a 12 by 12 inch sheet of cardstock stickers filled with borders, a full alpha set, number set. It comes with our collection kit but also can be purchased separately. Here you can see we have arrows and crosses, we have sentiments, beautiful child, we have tags and tabs, I'm thankful for my talents, I choose happy, lots of inspiring words for your projects. Next let's go into tip-ins. Our tip-ins pads are an exciting new product for us. Each pad includes two each of 12 different designs that are two by seven inches tall and fit perfectly in the margins of your journaling Bible. They come in a mix of inspirational quotes and journaling prompts, ideal for adding faith-based art to your Bible. So now I'm going to show you how to adhere your tippins into your journaling Bible. First, you'll choose the design that you want to use, and then there's a perforation on each of the tippins. Just bend it over a couple times and it'll simply pop out. Lay it in the margin of your Bible. You can see it fits really nicely right here in the margin. Then you have to decide which way you'd like your tip in to flip if you want to add some private journaling behind it. You simply add a little washi tape to the top so you can flip it vertically or along the edge of the side and you can flip it out horizontally. Here you can see having them in both margins how much it adds to your journaling margins. Speaking of our washi stickers, let's take a look at the Bright and Brave washi sticker booklet. In the booklet, you get eight pages of washi stickers. The first is strips in four different widths. The second page is three different widths. 
The third page is again three different widths and the fourth page is full of rectangles, hearts, and circles all made of the same washing material and you get a second set in the booklet of all those first four pages. Okay, so now you can see how translucent these nice stickers are and they go back into the booklet so easily if you need to reuse them. Here's the little heart stickers and you can see they're still translucent even with full color, great for layering. Okay, so now our Illustrated Faith new collections come with a set of element cardstock stickers. In Bright and Brave, these stickers are filled with sentiments like pray, Jesus, enjoy the journey, and then all the fun illustrations like the typewriters, the cassette tapes, flowers, bicycles, tags, tabs, everything that you really want to add that little extra fun to your project. Now let's go into our six by eight inch paper pad. The paper pad includes 24 double-sided sheets. One side of the sheet will have a pattern that is a scaled down version from our 12 by 12 inch traditional scrapbooking paper. On the back side of each of the patterns is a solid colored paper that coordinates with the entire collection. And this paper pad is the only place that you can get the solid colors that coordinate with the Bright and Brave collection. In the paper pad, you get two of each pattern paper. Here I'm going to show you how easy it is to take these pieces out. Simply fold along the perforation at the top of the tab and your paper will easily pop out, leaving little to no tear residue and a perfectly sized six by eight inch sheet. Here you can see how ideally it fits inside a journaling Bible. If you want, you could adhere it down the spine with some washi tape. You could also adhere it to the top so it folds over. Either way, with the solid on the back, you have a place for your journaling, and on the pattern paper side, you have a lovely place for your artwork. Our next product are designer clips. These clips are ideal for using in your Bible. They're made of heavy duty plastic, and as you can hear, they're really very sturdy which makes them ideal for using in your Bible, in your planner, in your scrapbooking. And you can see they're a nice size for marking the location in your Bible or planner from the side or from the top. They'll help to keep you organized in style. Probably one of my favorite new products from the Illustrated Faith Collections are our new clear cuts. Each pad comes with 12 transparency sheets. The first four sheets are illustrated icons and sentiments that coordinate with the collection. And in Bright and Brave, we have the cameras and the bicycles, arrows, and lots and lots of inspirational quotes and text. These smaller icons are great for fussy cutting and layering up because it's transparent and adding a lot of texture and dimension to your crafting. The last eight sheets in the book are four different patterns, two of each, of full six by eight inch transparency sheets. I love these because they're perfect for six by eight inch albums, and just like the six by eight inch paper, they fit perfectly in your journaling Bibles and add a lot of texture, color, and interest with very little effort. I'm gonna show you a quick tip. When you get your clear cuts pads, each sheet has a protective plastic covering. You need to remove that from each sheet and then you'll get this super glossy finish. Here I'm going to show you with some of the icons in the beginning of your clear cuts pad, just how easy it is and how they fit nicely into the margins of your Bible. Here with your full sheet, I'm going to show you when you take it out of the pad, you're going to need to trim off. It's about an inch from the top where the pattern begins to get your perfectly sized six by eight inch sheet. And you can see just as soon as you've done that, you can lay it in your Bible. You can adhere it with washi stickers and you're done and you have color and texture in your Bible. The next product that we're featuring are our paper pieces. These are cardstock die cuts, perfect for adding lots of fun color and design to your scrapbooking, Bible journaling, card making, whatever your project. I'm in love with the speech bubbles. This one says pray. We've got some blank ones. We have the arrows. Here's a nice close look at the darling typewriter. It says prayer request. This one has a white border around it and some of them are die cut right up to the edge like this amen square. And here again we see this super adorable moped that I just love. Now let's take a look at our new product called tabbies. These tabbies come in a set of 47 pieces in a wide range of shapes and sizes. 
They're made of cardstock and on our double-sided tabbies, they are pre-scored for perfect folding. And just like that, you have a double-sided tabby that you can use in your Bibles, your planners. Here's a nice little circle one. These ones are the smallest in the assortment. And then we have a single-sided option, which is great for just a decorative touch to your project. Here's some more double-sided, lots of different shapes. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to adhere these into your Bible for useful tabs and place markers. Just use a piece of washi sticker, adhere it to the tab first, and then adhere one side to the page you want to mark. And then using another piece of washi sticker, fold over your tabby and then add it to the other side of the page. Then you've got your tabby all ready and set to use. Okay, so the last product in the Bright and Brave collection are our clear stamps. And in Bright and Brave, there's all kinds of sentiments and tabs that you can put in your Bible or other paper crafting projects. Little cassette tapes, the typewriter, choose happy, XOXO. To first get your stamp set, you have to take off the plastic plastic sheet on the back and you have to do what's called conditioning of your stamp and that is basically taking your stamp inking it up really good and and then stamping it several times on a scratch piece of paper what that does is it gets the manufacturing residue off of the stamp before you go to use it in your actual project. But once you've done that, you can see how easily it stamps into the margins of your Bible. And make sure to clean it off with a stamp cleaner or a wet wipe and place it back on the sheet that it came with and cover it with the plastic that you removed in the beginning for storage. Now I'm going to walk you through a beautiful, bright and brave Bible journaling layout that Shauna Noel sent me so that I could walk you through what she uses the bright and brave product for in her Bible journaling. Here you can see she's used the washi stickers, she's used the stamps here, she's used lots and lots of the tabbies and cardstock fundamental stickers throughout. All of these, the alphas, the arrows, these tabs. She's used the element stickers for the darling little typewriter and then lots of sentiment stickers throughout. Just quickly going to show you what the six by eight inch clear cut would look like over a page like this, which is beautiful. And Shauna has used the clear cuts icons along the left edge of the margin and added a designer clip up at the top. In addition to Bible journaling, Bright and Brave is fantastic for pocket scrapping, scrapbooking, card making, you name it. That's going to wrap it up for this episode of our collection video series featuring Bright and Brave. We hope you loved seeing the product and projects you can use with this beautiful collection. Post all your projects using Bright and Brave to social media using the hashtag Illustrated Faith, hashtag Bella Boulevard, and hashtag IF underscore bright and brave collection.